any investor is measured by the portfolio it has built, right? But the, you obviously have a great portfolio. How have you guys been able to build it? What's the unique way of doing that? I think it's a largely our unique worldview. Uh, some, in some ways, it gets attributed to our network that we've built um, through our, our earlier portfolio companies and the companies that we have founded and the alumni from them have gone on to, uh, to found many others. And so we do have a, a very strong network that way. Um, but I think at the end of the day, when we actually make decisions, you know, the sort of, it, it, to have a really good portfolio, you have to first have the deal flow. You have to see the deals. Uh, you have to be able to get into the deals. Uh, and you have to choose the right ones. And so you kind of have to get all three parts of those um, to work. And so having the right network is pretty good for being able to see everything. Uh, and then our reputation as being very founder friendly. So the reason why we named ourselves Founders Fund is because we, uh, we truly believe we want to support the best entrepreneurs. So I love that. I'm a founder, so yeah. I love founder-friendly investors. Yeah, and you've held on to your company for uh, I'll remember that. Next years, time right? when That's... I need to raise my next round, I'll, I'll, I'll go for you. Yeah, so in our history, we've never fired a founder or a CEO. Great, I'll have my job security. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, we, 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 we always back to founders. And so sometimes that means that you know, if a company is not doing well uh, and where some VCs might try and like restructure it, our thinking is our time and money is better sent, spent uh, just sort of walking away from that and, and, and focusing on the companies that are really doing well that have the really most amazing founders. So we always try and double down on the best founders and and the hope Leave is the that, bad founders alone. Yeah, that the best founders who could take money from anyone would see that and would choose to work with us. So that's our that reputation uh, sort of gets us into the best deals. And then the last part of knowing which ones to take um, is mostly about our worldview and that we um, are are uh, not mimetic investors. We don't go with the crowd. We also don't go against the crowd just to be contrarian for its own sake. We think things through for ourselves from first principles and, and make decisions uh, based on that. And that seems to, in the long run, work out very well. And sometimes we do things that seem very weird or surprising, uh, but, uh, but that, that, tends to, that, that, that tends to be the, uh, the companies that are the, the sort of category of one sorts of things that define new market segments that no one sees coming. I'll分享一下我的认识啊 我觉得我非常同意。其实要看真正这个投资组合怎么样，实打实的成绩，这是一个。另外一个来讲呢，它虽然很谦逊，说它没有这个成功要素，但其实它分享了重要的三个成功要素：一个是网络（network）、网络，